Hello and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I just wanted to take a look at the add-on I just made and released on my Gumroad, which you can download in the link in the description. If you go to your viewport, we first need to delete the default cube, of course. You can go to N and go into my name. And you have three options here. You have add overlay, set material and delete overlay. And basically what this does, if you press add overlay, it adds a plane directly on your camera. And this works in every uh, focal length and every position. So if I had this, I can add a new overlay and delete the old one. This doesn't update yet. Uh, I might have to fix that later if there's enough downloads. But if we go into the camera view, we see this plane and we can uh, go into rendered view and go into cycles. And there's a plane in between our face and the cube. So you need to set the material and now it becomes transparent and it adds these uh, little tiny dust dots. Grab the camera and go and zoom out a little bit. We can see it a little bit clearer. We can see some dust particles. And the cool thing about this is you can go to the material properties and you can change all the settings here. Uh, this imports the overlay from the blend file and you can change the scales, you can change the color and you can change the intensity. And you can change the seed, of course, if you want a different pattern. I would recommend setting the intensity to something about uh, two, so it's really subtle. But this just adds a lot more realism to your camera renders. So if you want to give this a try, it's linked in the description. It's on my Gumroad and you can try it there. And if you're done with the overlay, you can just delete the overlay and it will disappear. And I think it really adds to your scenes. I would recommend pairing this with the camera Shakeify add-on and maybe some and maybe adding some uh, gobos to your lights and it will result in the most beautiful render you've ever seen. So that's for the review and now we're just going to go over the code really quickly. The last time I went over the code it took a long time so I'm just going to skim over it and just uh, explain my general idea. So this is uh, the code I used, uh, this is just importing everything I need and here I'm just going to create the panel which is just this one and here I'm going to um, state in order uh, what the buttons should be. So first we have the add overlay, then the set material and then the delete overlay and then we can go over to the operators and this one will be for uh, adding the overlay. And this is just the action. So if, if this button is pressed, uh, you should execute the action. Uh, and it's here as well, execute the action if the button is pressed. And then you go over to the static method. And this is where everything happens, where the plane gets added, where the most amount of code and time went into. Uh, this is just uh, naming everything so it's easier to get. This is uh, for if your uh, X resolution is uh, smaller than your Y resolution, it will uh, flip the, the plane. And then here the plane gets added and named. And here I am parenting the plane. And this is where I transform the plane. And that's basically it. This is where you can delete the plane. Uh, the, the operator says the button again. And then the static method is uh, for every object that is named dust plane, uh, which I named here will get removed. It's really, really simple. And then the materials is just uh, go to the path and just import the dust overlay plant file and just get the materials and then set the materials to our dust overlay. And that's it. This is just a register and a register. And that's uh, the basic idea. So if you found this video helpful and useful and you want the uh, overlay, you can go to my Gumroad. Uh, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.